I didn't tell anybody about this experience for a long time. I grew up in the Bible Belt here in Oklahoma, uh, in a generation where you know conservatism was the key, and and um, grew up in a very conventional family. And I thought, if I tell people, they're going to either think I'm crazy, or it was the medication, or my imagination, that it wasn't real. When I knew in every fiber of my being that it was the most real thing that had ever happened to me. And I wasn't willing to have that integrated in any way by somebody else's opinion or comments. So I didn't share it, except with one friend. Now, I can go on from now. Now, if there's something that you would like to ask me, well, I take a sip of water. <laughs> <laughs> that would be perfect. I was going to say, what, what a beautiful description you gave of that journey. And I, I think it's really interesting. That a lot of the near-death experiences are the white light, the tunnel. You know, that seems to be a lot of the story or a lot of what people experience. And yet you've experienced almost the beauty of life. Yes. And and of nature and the words that were given to you were so simple and yet so expansive. Yes, um, they were. And I was to learn later what the much more was and is and continues to be <laughs> because it continues to grow. 